Beautiful question. I'm going to see if we can manipulate it in some form. This greatest integer function is brilliant. So, greatest integer of 2.8 is 2. 2.8 is 2. Greatest integer of 9.1682 is 9. Greatest integer of 7 is 7. Greatest integer of minus 2.76 is minus 3. The greatest integer less than or equal to the number. If it turns out to be the if the number turns out to be an integer, it is the value itself. Otherwise, it's the integer just below it. So for positive numbers, we just leave out the decimal part. That's the answer. For negative numbers, the integer below minus 2.76 is minus 3. That's what the answer is. And so, super x square minus 4x plus greatest integer of x plus 3 equals x times integer of greatest integer of x. So let's see if we can simplify this and bring everything to one side. So x square minus x times greatest integer of x minus 4x plus greatest integer of x plus 3 equal to 0. Nice. What do? Take out an x. Put x minus greatest integer of x. And minus 4x plus greatest integer of x with an x minus greatest integer of x. Let's, let's see if we can pull this off. Right. This is minus x plus greatest integer of x minus 3x plus 3 equal to 0. Why am I doing this? This is an x minus greatest integer of x. Let's create one more x minus greatest integer of x. So break this as minus x minus 3x. Nice. So this becomes x times x minus greatest integer of x minus 1 times x minus greatest integer of x minus 3 times x minus 1. This is nicely factorizable. x minus 1 times x minus greatest integer of x minus 3 times x minus 1 equal to 0. Nice. Again, an x minus 1 is common. I take out an x minus 1 common. Say x minus 1 into x minus greatest integer of x minus 3 equal to 0. Nice. Brilliant. We have nicely factorized this rather brilliantly and so bring this this side there's an x in x minus greatest integer of x we want to contrive another x minus greatest integer of x put that in remaining is minus 3x plus 3 stick it in the end get through and so now x minus 1 when will it go to 0 when x is 1 so x equal to 1 is a solution x equal to 0 x equal to 1 is a solution x minus 1 equal to 0 x equal to 1 is a solution nice x minus greatest integer of x minus 3. When will it go to 0? x greatest integer of x, the greatest integer less than or equal to x. x minus greatest integer of x cannot be more than 1. Anything from 3 to 4 will be written as 3. 3.3 to 3.9999999, greatest integer of that is 3. 4 to 4.9999999, greatest integer of that is 4. x minus greatest integer of x cannot be 1 or more. This x minus greater than greatest integer of x, this part is less than 1. A number less than 1 minus 3 cannot go to 0. Right? So this part cannot go to 0 at all. This can go to 0 at x equal to 1. Or x equal to 1 is the one solution and only solution for this. Nice. So x equal to 1, let's look at the choices. Exactly two solutions, no. No solution, no. A unique solution in minus infinity to infinity, yes. Unique solution in minus infinity to 1, no. This, this not, does not include 1. So, there is only one solution. x equal to 1 works. Nothing else works. So, there is one solution in the range minus infinity to infinity. None of these work. And the choice C, C for chocolate. This is actually beautifully factorizable. And the rule of thumb, whenever you are looking to break something down, bring everything to one side, stick it to zero and see there is some way of manipulating it, factorizing it to simplify it. It factorizes rather beautifully as x minus 1 into x minus greatest integer of x minus 3. x minus greatest integer of x minus 3 cannot go to zero. x minus 1 goes to zero when x is 1. Then we simplify.